Hello, Roger Bisbee here from the Skill Builder channel. I haven't done a political rant for a while, mainly because a lot of people got very hostile, thinking that I had some kind of axe to grind and I was against their particular favoured political party. Which is untrue because I don't actually support any political party at all. I've had it with that. I'm far too old in the tooth to believe any of their lies. And one of the lies, or maybe not even an intentional lie, that has come to my attention is this promise by the Labour government, the new Labour government, to build one and a half million homes in the next five years. Now cleverer people than me have worked out that five years when you take out the bank holidays and the Christmas break and all the rest of it, equates to roughly 1,826 days of work. Now that doesn't include <laughs> the rainy days of course which considerably slows down the construction process. So in those 1,826 days or fewer they're going to build one and a half million homes which means that even if you don't allow for the rainy days they're going to have to complete a home every two and a half minutes. Not even China could do that. Well they had a go but most of those houses fell down. So the Labour government is up against something there aren't they? And I suggest that the newly appointed housing minister Angela Rayner who I'm willing to be quite charitable about. She's quite impressive in many ways. She's done well for a kid that started off with a very unfortunate start. She probably hasn't spent an awful lot of time in her heady career on building sites. And I know a lot of politicians go onto building sites, they chuck on a hard hat and a high-vis jacket and they have a go at Brick Lane, but that's not the game. What she needs to do is talk to the people who actually do the work, go into the tea hut, have a chat to them and find out what the frustrations of building houses are in the UK, because it is far from easy. For a start you've got material shortages and then you have to have utilities supplied and the waiting list to get yourself hooked up to the sewers and the gas supply or well no we're not having gas now are we electricity supply and the water supply i assume we're still having water even though thames water looks like it's about to become bankrupt but you get the idea all these things take time and that doesn't include building regulations approval and planning permission and all the other things even if you do away with the red tape and start building on green belt you're still going to have a lengthy process of getting those things sorted out before you can even begin and then of course you've got to acquire the land and that comes down to commercial developers and we know that a lot of commercial developers are very interested in building three four bedroom houses with two bathrooms rather than the kind of social housing that they don't make an awful lot of money on so who's going to pay for this how's it going to be funded we don't know that and if all that comes into line if they manage to shake that magic money tree and get the funds to do it they've still got to get the labor they've still got to get the materials and they've still got to get the things built and i'm not a gambling man but if i were a gambling man I, well, actually, I think in this case, I'm, I'm willing to take a bet. And my bet is that they won't get anywhere near. And I'm so confident of that, that I will take a bet. In fact, I'll bet my house on it. I'm Roger Bisbee. Let me know what you think in the comments below.